What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE action figure wish list for you guys. I don't think we actually did this last year, and it's something that I want to do on this channel. Now, I don't remember how many times we've done this. I want to say we've done this video in the past, but it is a video that I want to do here today, man. We're talking about my 2024 WWE action figure wish list. Now, this could include parts and stuff like that. It could also include figures that I want to see from Mattel, whether it be Elites, Ultimate Editions, whatever the case is, but I have made some separate categories here that we're going to go through and I'll take you through each individual one we'll start off with one list go to the next list and so forth and then we will end it off with the ultimate edition so I'm going to end things off with my ultimate editions but we are going to start things off with my elite list and talk about different figures I want to see and just figures that I guess like I, I don't really know that are coming or something like that man I tried to just put on a blindfold and say if I could have any figure I tried to think realistically right I'm not out here fantasy booking cr some crazy shish but I did try to keep it realistic I did want to think of some cool figures that we may be getting in 2024 or at least announced in 2024. It doesn't have to be necessarily out and about in our hands, but I would like to see these figures at least announced, if not fully here for us to enjoy or whatever in our collections. But nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up. And this is my 2024 WWE action figure wish list for Mattel. So starting things off first, man, we have the first WWE Elite, and this is going to be one that's very, I mean, this is right on the money, man. Royal Rumble 2023 Cody Rhodes. That is what I would like to see from Mattel. Of course, they're pumping his figures out daily, it seems like. His elites, his ultimates. We we already know an elite and an ultimate coming this year. And maybe this is the Elite 109 Cody Rhodes. Maybe this is already coming about, but if you weren't aware, he is in WWE Elite Series 109, and hopefully he'll be included in this Royal Rumble 2023 gear. I was front row for this. I'm a big Cody fan, so seeing that in person, I would love to have that in figure form, obviously. So yeah, Cody Rhodes, Royal Rumble 2023, and this is right on par but again because I'm going to the Royal Rumble in less than a week, so that'll be awesome as well. So I look forward to that trip again. If you guys are going to the Royal Rumble, hit me up, and please speak to me if you guys see me out and about during the festivities. But nonetheless, Cody Rhodes Royal Rumble 2023 is my first figure on my list. Next up, we have Tapered Beard Roman Reigns. I mean, my God, this has been on the list. I mean, that that part of the list, if this part, if this was an actual list that existed and this was something that just existed up there and it, you know, it would change year to year each time, that would be the oldest thing on this list probably outside of a Tapered Beard Finn Balor. But Tapered Beard Roman Reigns is on my list. And we know that he is coming in WWE Elite Series 110 apparently. And if that is the case, I would have to imagine that that is going to be the time that we finally see the tapered beard Roman Reigns, the handsome, nice, thick beard, pissed off Roman Reigns, new undisputed championship. Hope to God we see it. Even if it's ultimate, don't care, man. I just want the head sculpts. I want the man bun version, and I want the hair down version. I've been begging for it for years, and hopefully this will be the year that we finally can check this off the list. The next thing on my list is going to be tapered beard Finn Balor. I mean, who would have thought, Brad? Who would have thought that this would be on the list? I've been begging for tapered beard Finn Balor for I swear to God, it's been like seven years, six years, five years, something like that. It has been a long time, man. I mean, one of the things I've asked for the longest from Mattel was Ruthless Aggression era Shelton Benjamin, Black Joggered Usos or Black Attire Heel Usos were on there for a long time. Unforgiven 01 Kurt Angle has been on my list for a long time. So there's been some stuff that has been on my list for a very long time. Some of the things have been checked off as we've progressed through our collection years. But, uh, you know, we're still waiting on Tapered Beard Roman Reigns and Tapered Beard Finn Balor. So hopefully we will get these things, man. But, you know, not just tapered beard Finn Balor. I want to have like a longer haircut because you could argue Elite 82 had the right beard. It just didn't have the right haircut and whatnot. But I would like to see the fade. Nonetheless, man, let's move on to our next list or our next figure on my list. And who would have thunk it, Brad? Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle, a figure that I've been begging for for a while now as well. It's mainly the boots, but the memory that I have attached with this figure and just everything embodies like just the Stone Cold Steve Austin and Kurt Angle feud and rivalry was huge for me as a kid. I loved it. I enjoyed every second of it, watching it week to week. Just really bought me in. And that entire rivalry really, I don't know if it shaped my love for wrestling, but it definitely played a part in it. It really did. So... Kurt Angle, 2001 Unforgiven, would love to see that. Of course, we were disappointed by his Ultimate Edition. Hopefully, they can redeem us maybe with an Elite figure. I'm not asking for a Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle Ultimate. I'm really only asking for an Elite figure, but that is a figure on my 2024 wish list is Unforgiven 2001 Kurt Angle. Hopefully, we get some new head sculpts as well because I, I don't want to see any of those Ultimate Editions on there, but I could see them using the crying head sculpt as an interchangeable one possibly because I'm pretty sure he was crying after he won the WWF title there, but... 
Nonetheless, man, the next one is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin with a watch. So it doesn't really, this kind of ties back to our video from yesterday. And if you guys, I got a lot of positive feedback on the video from yesterday. If you guys have not watched our Stone Cold Steve Austin topic video from yesterday, please go give it a watch. I'd greatly appreciate it. Go over there, tell me what you think, and leave a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate that. But a lot of people were chiming in with the same exact thoughts as me on that video. And I just want to see a Stone Cold Steve Austin with removable watch. It doesn't really matter. I would imagine it would be from the late 90s, early 2000s, which would be right on the money. But I'm not going to give a specific gear on this. I just want to see a Stone Cold Elite with a removable watch. And hopefully the rest of it takes care of itself. So hopefully we'll have to see about that. But the Stone Cold Steve Austin has to be on the list right there. WWE Elite Austin with a watch that is removable. We know that removable watches are going to be big in 2024. We already know the bracelets and the watch come with the Rocky Maya via 3-pack. We know that the Elite 107 Undertaker had a removable watch. We know that the Monday Night War Series 2 Kevin Nash has a removable watch. So I would just, you know, context clues point to a, a Steve Austin with a removable watch. I could even see the Elite 110 Roman Reigns being a promo gear that also comes with a removable watch. But we will have to see all these things, man. You know, nothing's nothing's concrete, but we can also fantasy book these things and put them on our wish list. Next up on my wish list is going to be William Regal, man. Really want to see a William Regal figure. I do believe that he is under a Legends contract, and I would imagine that we could get him not only in a main Elite line or just any sub line. I don't really care. I just would love to see a William Regal. I think it'd be cool to see him with an Intercontinental Championship or a European Championship. Hell, I would love to see him in a suit. An elite suited William Regal would be undefeated. I'd be right there in the front line to purchase that. You could use that suited body for a lot of things. You guys know that Mattel has been putting out these new suited bodies over and over again, double jointed arms and whatnot. So I would love to see William Regal there in the suit. Maybe even reuse the old Vince McMahon Toys R Us body mold and then just give it the double jointed arm treatment, put a William Regal head sculpt on there, and you're cooking with all kinds of fire right there but William Regal's on my list the next figure is going to be Sandman man I also know that he is on a Legends deal it's been rumored heavily he was put onto the that the, whatever the hell that app is called this like the the card game or whatever it is I don't even remember my mind's gone blank but a Sandman Elite would be amazing I don't care if it's like his ECW rebrand in like 2007 or if it is his American pants or if it's like his Budweiser inspired gear whatever the hell I don't really care Brad I just want a Sandman Elite imagine the Sandman double jointed arm with a kendo stick, a can accessory, just to bash his own head in. Maybe it could even come with an interchangeable head that's bleeding. Uh, that's not going to happen. Why did I even say that? But a can to smash him in the head with, a kendo stick, a cloth good shirt, Sandman barbed wire tattoo, man. Oh my Jesus. I am just, oh, that's that's got to be on the list. That, that if we see that figure, I'm going to have to fight everyone. So a Sandman figure is absolutely on my list. Next up on my wish list for 2024 in the WWE Elite is going to be a 2004 Shawn Michaels. Now, specifically, I would love to see a WrestleMania 20 version of Shawn Michaels. Hell, even if they did like a cool two-pack or something with Triple H from WrestleMania 20, of course, we're not going to get the other guy. But uh, that's one of my favorite matches of all time, and I would love to see a 2004 Shawn Michaels. It's like the last year that he wore the tights, and they could give us like the Dolph Ziggler boot mold. Honestly, they need to give us a new boot mold, to be honest with you. That's really what I'd like to see. A new, don't give him the damn kick pads. Give him the actual boots that he wore with all the straps. Give us that 2004 Shawn Michaels red gear. Don't really, I'm not going to be picky about the specific attire, but any of them really work, but the red and white would be pretty clean. I'd like to see that, but Shawn Michaels 2004 is my last elite figure on just my main elite line or just some just some regular just uh, in, it doesn't matter what line it is I just want to see some WWE elites and th these are all the ones I had on my list next up we have the greatest hits line so these are figures that I would like to see in the greatest hits line first up we have Batista elite two or elite six I would love to see Batista return to the greatest hits line I know we just got a Batista in the blue Tista I don't know why the hell the blue Tista was in the greatest hits line they could have easily given us the elite two or the elite six which are much better figures in my opinion and more iconic and more rare but uh, maybe they'll run it back and put Batista in the greatest hits line again I'd like to see Elite 2 or Elite 6 Next up, we have William Regal again, but it's the Elite 8 version of William Regal. Even if they did the Elite 45 version, I'd be great. I'd be glad with that. I think that would be amazing. Hell, even put that in the Legends Greatest Hits line, which we also have a subcategory for. I guess you could say that these go in both, but Elite 8 William Regal or Elite 45 William Regal would be Chef's Kiss. I'd be all aboard that. That would be a beautiful thing to see. So I have a Elite 8 William Regal in my Greatest Hits line. Next up is Elite 7 Shawn Michaels. Elite 7 Shawn Michaels. Now this is a 
another figure that could be featured in the Legends Greatest Hits line. And you guys know that they put, I think there was, what, four figures in the last wave or five, and there were supposed to be six, but Bruno San Martino got moved. If they have six figures in not only the Legends Greatest Hits line and the regular Greatest Hits line, there are so many opportunities to get these figures, and we know which figures are rare, man. We know which figures are really sought after. So I think Elite 7 Shawn Michaels is an easy dunk. I mean, hell, even Elite 3 Shawn Michaels would be an excellent figure to get in there. You know, if you didn't want to dive into your defining moments and keep that rarity there, I mean, these were mainline Elite figures that you don't see, man. You don't see that Elite 7 Shawn Michaels. You don't see that Elite 3 Shawn Michaels from time to time, man. Those are figures that a lot of people would probably like to put in their collections. You give them like an updated True FX head sculpt, double jointed arms, all the bells and whistles. Both of those figures come with great cowboy hat accessories. They come with great cloth goods shirts. I mean, those figures are amazing, man. Those would be perfect additions to either the Greatest Hits or the Legends Greatest Hits line. And the last thing on my Greatest Hits line is going to be CM Punk. I would really like to see CM Punk in the Greatest Hits line. So obviously we know we're getting Elite CM Punks. I didn't put them on my WWE Elite list because I kind of feel like that's a given. I think we're going to see CM Punk. I think they're going to put CM Punk in not only the main Elite line, they're going to put him in the Greatest Hits line from previously released CM Punks. They're going to put him in the Top Picks line with Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. And it's going to be the most legendary Top Picks wave we've seen. So whatever main line Elite we get of CM Punk, they're going to Top Picks the hell out of that and recolor it. They're going to put that man whatever he wears at the Royal Rumble they're making a figure of that no doubt about it they're gonna and they already have the formula in place you know I really don't care for the Daniel Bryan torso that they give CM Punk but CM Punk elites are all over it man give us greatest hits CM Punk's give us mainline elite CM Punk's I don't care but now we're diving into my legends greatest hits and we already touched on a couple of them right with William Regal and Shawn Michaels but my last greatest hits legends figure I want to see defining moments Triple H man it is the time it is the time this figure is old as dirt now I mean Jesus in heaven this figure needs to be re-released it is time. It is time to do this. If they're not going to do it in the Legends Greatest Hits line or the Greatest Hits line or any of these other lines, Triple H Return 2002 should be in the Ultimate Edition line, to be honest with you. But if you're not going to do that, you could easily do it in the Greatest Hits line or the Legends Greatest Hits line. And so I have that as a Legends Greatest Hits would be Triple H Defining Moments 2002 Return. It books itself, man. I mean, you could easily make a, a case for it to be an Ultimate Edition. Can you imagine a Triple H in jeans with a butterfly joints and you have the interchangeable jacket with a cloth goods shirt and an interchangeable jacket arms with a sledgehammer and a title and a bottle of water? I mean, there are so many things you can do there with new head sculpts. It writes itself, man. I cannot be the only one that, that thinks this is a slam dunk for the Ultimate Edition line, but... I'm just going to go out on whim and say Greatest Hits, Legends line, give me Triple H, Defining Moments, beautiful looking figure, one of the best Mattel figures I think they've ever done, and it would be absolute money. Hell, you could even put it in the Ultimate Edition line and give him cloth pants with the interchangeable jacket with the tights underneath. That's even another thing you could do, so I mean, let's just move the hell on. Now we're diving into my Ultimate Edition list, man. We're finishing it up with my Ultimate Edition list. Now this is going to be figures that I want to see in Ultimate Edition form only, man. This is Ultimate Editions coming at you right here, man. The top of my list is going to be Finn Balor, WrestleMania 39. Now, that's another thing in 2024 I want to see. Just knocking this out real quick. We've been seeing these greatest hits, ultimates, or best of ultimates already. Where the hell is our Finn Balor Demon Ultimate Edition greatest hits figure? Update that figure with that Seth Rollins torso and butterfly joints or that Rick Rude torso and repaint it with pinless joints. I mean, dude, everybody's buying that figure. The original Finn Balor Ultimate was great, but it lacks in a lot of ways, man. They could really touch it up with that Seth Rollins style torso. So that's something I'd really like to see from Finn Balor, or maybe the hell, they even give him a brand new torso. I don't care. Not in the greatest sense, but just, you know, running it back here. Finn Balor, WrestleMania 39. Need that in Ultimate Edition form. I hope to God we actually see that this year. And I believe in this within this next week before the Royal Rumble, I don't think we've gotten our January photo gallery just yet. And if we have, maybe I've just skipped it over my brain, but we should be getting a new gallery to WWE.com of new reveals or at least some new figures to come or something like that very soon. So hopefully that'll be the case. But nonetheless, WrestleMania 39, Finn Balor, Ultimate Edition, beard, head paint, all the different stuff. Hell, it would be cool if they gave us like an interchangeable head that had the stitches in it, but I don't think they'll do that. That, that still would be cool, but give me the gritting face, the screaming face, a pissed off Finn Balor demon. WrestleMania 39 was row five, I think it was, for WrestleMania 39 night two right there. To see him take that awful L makes me sick. He should have won that match. 
Next up on my Ultimate Edition wish list for 2024 is going to be a new John Cena. Now, we have that heavily rumored, like, Walmart exclusive or whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Nothing confirmed just yet, and you guys know that Walmart's a little bit shaky. But I, I do believe we're going to get a new John Cena Ultimate in 2024, but I still put it on my list anyways. I really don't care what gear it is as long as it's, as it's one that I can fix up. So that 07 that it's rumored to be from Backlash is right on the money. I just want a John Cena particularly in green shorts with white shoes. And you guys already know what I'm going to say. 2024 needs to be the year that we see a brand new John Cena Elite shoe mold and a brand new John Cena Ultimate Edition shoe mold. Got to see those, man. Those old Ultimate Edition, especially the Elites. I mean, the Ultimate Edition, I guess I could, I could just build a bridge a little bit. But when you talk about the Elites, man, that mold is like a decade plus old. It needs to go. It needs to get the hell out. The next Ultimate Edition on my list is going to be a Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition specifically in the 2005-2006 eras. So, you know, the World Heavyweight Champion version of Kurt Angle there, going after John Cena's WWE Championship. There's multiple times there. You can either do the boots or the wrestling shoes. Doesn't really matter to me. I just want to see a bald Kurt Angle Ultimate Edition, maybe with a sculpted singlet. It would be amazing. I would love to see that take place. So, Kurt Angle is on there. 0506 era would be perfect for me for my Ultimate Edition wish list. And then the second to last figure that we have on my Ultimate Edition wish list is going to be Rhea Ripley, man. Gotta have a Rhea Ripley, man. Gotta have a, de a Degum Rhea Ri A nice, articulate... We need a figure that can rival Asuka version of Rhea Ripley. Now, I want all of her tattoos on there. I want the stern... I don't want anything covering up her tattoos, man. I don't want the thin nets on her legs covering up the tattoos. Nothing on her sternum covering up the tattoos. Nothing on the arms, th these long sleeves and all this shish, man. We need to to see all of the tattoos on an Ultimate Edition fully posable with the new Women's Championship for Rhea Ripley. That is what I want on my wish list. So hopefully that will be the case. Rhea Ripley, we know we're getting the Elite 110 version of Rhea Ripley. And again, they're covering up her sternum tattoo and these other things. It's a beautiful looking figure. Cannot wait for that Elite 110 Rhea. Could be the best women's elite of all time. We'll have to see. But the Ultimate Edition needs to have all the tattoos on display with the World Championship, the white strap. It would be beautiful. Book it. This has to happen. Wish list 2024. And the last Ultimate Edition figure I have on my personal wish list for 2024, the last figure I have here, is going to be a CM Punk in his iconic gear from his Money in the Bank matchup with John Cena. Ultimate Edition CM Punk has to be made. It's not even a question. It must be made. I have to make this into an Ultimate Edition, and it's the last figure on the list. I really don't care what gear it is, but I think a throwback Elite 16 Ultimate Edition version of that figure will be a money printer, and they need to throw it up on Mattel Creations for a, you know, a made-to-order thing, and I'll buy 10 of them, and that'll be the end of it right there, man. So that will be... That's my final wish right there. That's on my wish list. Mattel Creations exclusive CM Punk Money in the Bank Ultimate Edition. It writes itself. If you want money, go ahead and make that figure your man but that is pretty much my wish list man 20 minutes almost of my entire wish list of wwe action figures i want to see in 2024 from mattel now when you get into basics and different sub, sub lines ringside exclusives things of that nature i'm not really going to fantasy book those things i feel like a lot of those things are kind of random you can never really predict a ringside exclusive you know you can fantasy book out there but i try to keep mine as realistic as possible i think everything on my list is completely possible within the realms and we'll have to see exactly what that thing is and what comes of it and see how accurate i, I want to make this video again in a year and see how accurate my wish list was or maybe we'll revisit this halfway through the year to see what boxes we've checked and things like that but I feel like I could be insane but I feel like 2024 is going to be the best year of wrestling action figures of all time man so let's all buckle the hell up and get into it but I want to know down in the comment section below what everybody else's wish list is so please let me know down below what yours is what's your number one elite you want number one ultimate you want some basics you want to see let me know all those things down in the comment section below man but I am getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel always appreciate those fellas again going to the Royal Rumble less than a week from now so I got a lot of work to do for the channel to make sure that we get these Royal Rumble edition videos we're gonna have predictions we're gonna have fantasy booking we're gonna have I don't know if I'll do a review because I'll obviously be out maybe I'll review it when I return and I'm gonna try to do a vlog of course of the show and like my entire trip might even do a toy hunt while we're down there in Tampa so that should be fun as well might be even doing a couple collabs. So we'll have to see all those things, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me your wish list or some wants down in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.